Coach's Corner with Ron McClain. Okay, the lockup continues, and that means there's no NHL hockey, and no hockey means no Don Cherry. It also means across the country, aspirin sales have plummeted. <laughs> Here to talk about the current situation is hockey expert and broadcaster, Ron McClain. <laughs> Welcome, Ron. How do I look? Gorgeous. Get a cufflinks. Vimy Ridge. Anyway, I don't get any time to waste or anything like that. Uh, how much time I got? Uh, lots of time. All right. Go ahead. Do you mind? I'm just trying to say something here. Just, I'm just, just trying to help. Okay, then. Kids. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> Kids. It won't happen again. Look, I am just trying to make a point here. You keep interrupting, you're throwing me off. You kids out there, I know you listen to me because I'm the expert here. Anyway, I've forgotten what I was going to say. What are we talking about here? Glenn Wesley. Glenn Wesley, that's it. Good. You got a bright future. Smarten up. You're supposed to be running this thing. Uh, you kids be like Glenn Wesley, fine broth of a lad, good red deer boy. He knows a lot about the game. Well, we're almost out of time. Man. Oh, great. What a surprise. What have we got after hockey? The love life of a bumblebee, I suppose. Imagine folks are cutting me off. This is absolutely ridiculous. Running out of time. I don't know if you would just learn to shut up, I could get something out here. What's next? Uh, the, the locket. Oh. Who suffers the most? Fans? Players? Owners? Well, I will say there is one group that's going to be hurt a lot more than the others. Uh, which group would that be? The referees. <laughs> yes, the referees. With their beautiful stripes and the puck that they want to drop. <laughs> and their whistles that they blow. <laughs> and the fans won't be able to boo the bad calls they're making. Okay, well, we're out of time, so uh, that's it. But we all, all hope the lockout ends soon, and uh, hockey's once again back in fashion, but without the provocative salary caps. That is the worst, most pathetic pun I have ever heard. What does it mean? Anyway, I coach Bobby Orr. I shouldn't have to put up with this stuff. 